So making a multiplayer game usually requires a lot of time and effort, and sometimes it can take months to produce a game that looks like this. Well today, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple multiplayer game in a program called Gandhi IDE, all without writing a single line of code. So this right here is the Gandhi IDE website, and if you've used Scratch before, then once you click try it now, you'll know pretty much what to do. But right away we open into this project, and there's this little alien sprite here, and that's our main character, so we can keep him. The second thing we're going to need to do is install an extension that helps us make the multiplayer. Go over to the left and click extension, open up Gandhi, we're going to look for Gandhi Simple MMO, and we're going to click install. Now we can go back to code and make sure that you have an account on Gandhi IDE or you can't save it properly. The first thing we're gonna need to do is actually put the players into a server. Let's go to events and drag out a when green flag clicked block. Go to motion and we're gonna just set the players X to zero and the players Y to zero. Now we're gonna go to MMO, so that's down here and we're gonna look for join or create broadcast. So that's the second block and drag it below this block. We can leave all this stuff as it is and we're just going to hide the players. Awesome, so if we click the green flag, our player is just gonna hide itself. Now we wanna join the server. To do that, we're gonna go back to MMO. We're gonna scroll down and look for when new player connected. So that's right here, we can drag that out and we're gonna show this player this time. So show, once we're connected, we're gonna make sure that it is actually we that are playing, not the other player. Go to control, drag out an if block, go to operators and look for not block. If not or block in, drag this out. If not session ID equals my session ID is a clone, then we wanna clone this sprite. So clone this sprite with state of session ID and we can just drag this down right here. Because there's more than one player, they're gonna need to use clones for this. So let's actually make our clones. So go to my blocks, and we're gonna make a block. And let's just call it create clones. Inside of here, we're gonna make a variable called player. That's how many players there are in the game currently, and that right now that's at zero. Define create clones, set player to zero, repeat 10, and we're gonna go back to MMO and drag out an online player count. We're gonna use some of this block right here so that we're not cloning our players incorrectly. So we can right click and duplicate her. We can just modify this a bit. If not, and go back to MMO and we're gonna look for session ID from zero of players. So we can put that right there. And instead of zero, we're actually gonna use this player variable we made. We're gonna change this to this. So duplicate that and put it right there. After all this happens, we're gonna change our player by one. And if you click the green flag, you'll see a player pop up on the screen. That's awesome. So we already joined the game. Now we just need to make a clone of another person that joins. So just so that we can tell if we're actually able to move around, let's make this player move. When this player is connected to a room, in player events, when I connected to a room, we're gonna wanna show and create clones. Show and create clones. So that's just running the block that we did right here. And that will change the player count by one, which means that there's another player in the room. Drag out a forever block and go to variables and we're gonna make two more blocks. So one is gonna be X and make sure that it's for this sprite only. And there's gonna be a Y and also make sure that this is a for this sprite only. We're gonna hide both of these blocks and we're gonna use them to move around the player with the arrow keys. Go to motion and drag out a change X by 10 and a change Y by 10. Replace these with the Y and X blocks we made. If we change the values of this Y and X, then the player will move around with it. Let's drag out an if block and we're gonna go to sensing and if key is pressed. So we're gonna use the right arrow key to move right. Going to change X by let's say two and duplicate this. And this time we're gonna want if key left arrow pressed, we're gonna change by negative two. You can just duplicate these two more times. So make sure that there's four blocks in all. And up arrow pressed, then change Y by two. If key down arrow pressed, change Y by negative two. You can already see that our player is moving around really smoothly, but the problem is that he's moving forever. So I'm letting go of the keys right now and he's just moving off into the distance. We don't want that. So we're just going to set X to, we're gonna go to operators and drag out a multiply block, set X to X times 0 0.9, duplicate that, set 
y to y times 0 0.9 and what this does is it'll just help him smoothly come to a stop right here so you can see that he's moving around slowly when i let go of the keys he stops like he's supposed to last thing we're gonna do we're gonna make it so that it syncs the player's movements to him actually moving so we're gonna go to mmo one last time and we're gonna look for this set x block it looks a lot like this blue block but it's for the multiplayer so we're gonna wanna set X to the motion category, X position, and Y position. And that's pretty much it, we're done with this. But we wanna see the other players playing, right? So right now, if I duplicated the tab, we're gonna have the same multiplayer sessions across two tabs, and that won't really help. So we'll go down to the MMO blocks one last time, and we're gonna scroll down until we see this accept multi IDs for one user, drag that out, and click it. And you're going to need a Gandhi IDE account for this, so it's free to make it. You can just go ahead and create one. I'm just going to rename this to Multiplayer Episode 1. You can save to cloud. And right here, I can just right click, duplicate tab, and we can click the green flag on one and click the green flag on the second one. And now for the moment of truth, let me press the arrow keys and everything is working as it should be except for one thing you can't see the other player on this screen so to fix that close out one of those screens and we're going to go back to our scripts and add one more block go to events and drag out a when i start as a clone and drag out a forever and then lastly we're going to drag out a go to x y these values we're going to replace with the mmo blocks player's session id of this clone and we're just going to change this to player's x of this clone and player's y of this clone last thing we need to do is when our player is disconnected if the session id is equal to player session id of this clone then we're going to delete this clone so as soon as soon as a person presses the stop flag they're going to delete their clone so they won't be on the screen anymore Okay, so let's hit publish and try this out. So I have a split screen right here and let me click the green flag on both of them and use the arrow keys to move around. And there you have it. You see the other player moving around on this screen. And if I click this screen, you can see moving around on that screen. So let me press the stop sign and you can see the other player left. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.